of uh, Spirito Gentil uh, from La Favorita by Donizetti. Now, um, many people uh, have uh, trouble or they struggle with this high C. And actually it's quite an easy jump because it is a jump from a G to a C, which means that you're gonna be covered on the G to then open on the C. Okay, I'll continue in the next video with this. So now what we have to keep in mind is that uh, this is a bel canto aria. And, uh, uh, you know, in, in the style of bel canto, you know, such as Bellini, um, Donizetti, and, uh, you, you know, to some point, uh, Verdi, you know, early Verdi uh, could be considered also bel canto, I would say. But, uh, you know, Rossini, um, you know, these Italian authors are really representative of this um, era, this uh, uh, style. Um, the main goal here is not to push, not to um, be over heroic, if, even if the role is heroic, we cannot um, overpower any note because bel canto means beautiful singing. So what what does this mean uh, whilst we are approaching uh, a note that it is uh, quite hard, maybe, you know, nowadays, um, and we don't want to blast it. Uh, well, the fact is that when this was originally composed, that high C was sung in what it was called head voice is what it what is nowadays falsetto. So originally it would be like that, that that's the way more or less it would be sung. But nowadays we don't have that advantage. So we have to find an approach in which we sing the high C in a legit voice but we don't sing a high C um, that uh, would sound, you know, like Il Trovatore, for example, or uh, La Boheme. That's what I recommend is to actually flow and, and have a, a good amount of breathing. Feel that, that breath underneath your voice. So when you go to the high C, it floats. Yeah, so it would be a bit like that. Like, a, like an ecstasy, like a blast. It is within the legato of the, of the line, you know, the, of, of, the, of the, the previous phrase. And that is the style uh, that we want to uh, recreate while singing this. There you are. All right, so I was going to leave it right there, but I decided to um, come back and, and perhaps offer you some, some exercises that uh, could help you out with uh, with this jump. Uh, I can start from an open to a cover, right? For example, uh, D to G. So I, I, I have that feeling of the cover. And then, for example, I can cover an F sharp and go to a B. Okay, and eventually just... And that would be your C. Okay, uh, so this will help you isolating this jump. Uh, and it will create a, a muscular memory. So you know what to do without having to think about it. Because that's the worst thing that can happen to you once you're singing. Cheers. Okay, so to sum up, uh, 
points to take into consideration whilst approaching this high C in this repertoire. And this can be applied to, uh, you know, any of the Belcanto uh, authors. Uh, please be really careful uh, with the line. Don't break the line. Be always uh, on the legato. Don't, don't chop it, okay? And when you reach this point, isolate the jump. Uh, and trust it. Please don't move anything. Don't look for space. Don't don't look for anything. It's just this jump. It's just that. It, it's, it's, is that a scream? Yeah, maybe the scream. It's a scream. It's an educated scream like Pavarotti used to um, define it. So don't move. Trust. And the outcome would be positive. Cheers.